My name's Stuart Taylor. I'm here with Robin Minch. Uh, Robin, you want to describe your role, sure. what you do, and how you do it, and some of those, and maybe a little bit about uh, uh, describe the session that you're you're here teaching today. Great. I build trading models for institutional investors and hedge funds and prop trading firms. Uh, my models are licensed, and I also do portfolio consulting and build portfolios. Oh, nice. Very impressive. Uh, your session today, you want to tell us a little bit about what you're trying to uh, impart to the audience? What I really wanted to work with them on today was show some of my newer work um, mm -hmm. about how you identify the controlling order flow. Um, one of the main questions that I started off the industry with was knowing what the market was trying to do and then how well is it doing. So what I'm working with in my session today is identifying who's got the ball and buyers or sellers and what do they need to do to keep it and what does it look like when the op opposition gets it. I, I set in a few minutes of your session and uh, you know as a guy that knew Pete Stottlemyre back in the day, right. and, you, just you know, I had dinner that. with him, and, <laughs> you know, but it really, it, uh -huh. it strikes me that you've taken your work far beyond what Peter ever, uh, I, I think, envisioned, and uh, it looked to me like you uh, uh, used a lot of longer term mm -hmm. market profile work, and I thought it was very, very interesting. Um, so in our conversation earlier, it seemed you were very, very passionate about the number of young women, or women in general, yeah. in technical analysis. And I, yeah. I tell you, it hadn't really been an old middle-aged guy, hadn't late-aged guy, uh, hadn't really occurred to me. Uh, but as I started looking around the symposium, I thought, mm -hmm. wow, Robin is really right. We don't have enough women in mm -hmm. attendance. Uh, yeah. Go. <laughs> yeah, when I started, of course, I was usually the only woman in the in the room, right. especially in futures trading, mm -hmm. which is where I got my start. Uh, and that dial hasn't really moved. I, I think it's my mission during my last period of my last 10 years is really to encourage young women, train young women, mentor them, and uh, even considering opening an all-women trading floor, trading, oh, interesting. trading operation. Yeah. Um, because what we really need, I have been the woman who was the only one on the floor. I have trained the only woman on a large 120 right. um, floor. And what was missing was the culture. And so you need enough women to make a culture so that they could survive. Uh, well, and it's it's hard enough relate. for a technician in Absolutely. general to survive. Right. And a trader, right? <laughs> and a trader, and much less having the disadvantage of right. being the only one in the room. That's, that's right. That's not male. And I think it it the issue is that they don't see themselves yet uh -huh. or understand the trading industry enough. Yeah. Um, I, I've actually thought women probably at least in terms of the analysis and some of the trading, they're mm -hmm. far less emotional than mm -hmm. men when it comes to these kinds of decisions. And mm -hmm. uh, some of the best traders I've ever known have been women, actually. So, mm -hmm. so thinking back on your career when you were younger, did you have mentors? Did you have anything in particular that kind of shaped your career? And Absolutely, Peter Stoudemire. Um, he was a legend at the time, mm -hmm. and he's a legend now, and he was my mentor. I worked with him on his, uh, one of his books to help him write it, and I remember sitting in, in his closet <laughs> where his trading room was, <laughs> um, you know, standing, uh, and working with him. And he had such insight into the market, and he laid the foundation of understanding of what the market is so that analysis could be looking at the right picture. I, I don't think people understand how revolutionary Peter actually was. He was, he was yeah. uh, terrific, terrific. Uh, you know, if you were starting over, yeah. and uh, you know, is there any single piece of advice for somebody starting in technical analysis okay. that you think kind of gets to mm -hmm. the core of what they need to do or what they need to think yeah. about? If you're starting technical analysis and you want to be an ana analyst, that's one thing. If you're starting technical analysis and you want to be a trader, mm -hmm. it's another path to go down. So I'm going to talk about if you want to be a trader um, for a moment. Uh, 
the first thing I would do is I'd read as much as you can about what's out there in the industry, number one. And then I would go and find a mentor to help you understand what it takes in the gut and the heart to trade, because they're very different skills. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, even if you want to be an analyst, I think you need mentors in this industry and people uh, who are willing to help you. Yeah, good point. So, and I guess uh, lastly, and uh, we'll wrap this up, but you know, I, I see young people entering their technicians, they're trying to enter an industry that is dominated by, you know, fundamentalists basically. Right. I work at a mutual fund right. company, right? All of our analysts are kind of trained in similar ways. Our PMs all kind of mm -hmm. think about markets right. the same way. And, you know, I've got some specific thoughts, but I would love to hear yours about how a young person makes this transition and fits into this world. Yes. When we started off, technical analysis was voodoo. It really had that reputation. And now, then it became every uh, money manager became kind of a closet technician. And uh, I think it's very common now to be doing technical analysis because there's only one portal in the market. And that's putting your bet in that marketplace. Mm -hmm. So whether you're coming into it through technical analysis or fundamental analysis, it's in that market to be read. Mm -hmm. um, and as a technician, you're getting all the market information through usage over price. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Robin, thank you.